My name is John Paul Farmer, and I am the president of Wheeling Cities. On behalf of Will I Am's I Am Angel Foundation, LAUSD, HACLA, the City of Los Angeles, Microsoft, and Wheeling, I want to say welcome, welcome this morning to Estrada Courts for this really important conversation that we're having. We're here because for too long, communities in need have been overlooked by too many internet service providers. And we're all sadly familiar with the concept of redlining and housing. Well, that's been digital redlining. The reality is residents in Boyle Heights and in Estrada Courts haven't had the same levels of performance, choice, or affordability in terms of their internet service as residents in wealthier communities. Before joining WeLink, in my years as Chief Technology Officer of New York City, I saw firsthand how truly necessary internet has become for everyone. The pandemic made it crystal clear, yet the quality of internet continued to differ radically between the wealthiest communities and those communities of lower incomes. Simply put, the fastest stuff was expensive and the affordable stuff wasn't fast. Until now, you're going to hear from senior officials that are participating partners in this effort to create true digital equity where it's needed most, starting here in Boyle Heights, here in Estrada Courts. To kick things off, I'm going to introduce someone who needs no introduction. Will I Am is not only the world-renowned frontman for the multi-Grammy award-winning Black Eyed Peas, he's not only a futurist, an innovator, who has created robotics programs in collaboration with LAUSD to benefit kids across LA. Will grew up right here. He's a proud son of Estrada Courts, and no one is more responsible for us being here today than him. Ladies and gentlemen, Will I Am. Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I was born and raised right here. In, in these projects. My mom was raised in these projects. Uh, you're talking about the 50s. Uh, and these projects were erected in the 40s. So less than 10 years, um, my family were residents when uh, the neighborhood was beautiful. It's still beautiful, but it went through a rough patch in the late 80s and the 90s. Um, if you're a 90s kid and you're from some project in America, that was tough. The war on drugs uh, was like a war on us. Um, the investment for education was low. The opportunity was low. Um, so people resorted to illegal activity. And I point that out because a portion of that illegal activity is now legal now. People sold weed, and now weed is promoted on billboards. They went to jail and served 10 to 20 years. They got out, and you would think they will be in the industry that's booming now. They can't get jobs. And that divide is still there. No opportunity, no investment of education, and so when you have success, and I'm so blessed to have had success um, in music, but my origins of music were riding my bike down these project hallways and dreaming and dancing in the neighborhood, knowing you know, what my family's contribution was in sports. My uncle Lynn played for the Falcons and the Rams, so he was a hero for this community. So with that, the neighborhood protected me and my family. But music was my dream. And when you have success with music, the world calls you to bring attention to products, um, to help people get elected, to raise awareness when national, uh, natural disasters strike. And I realize that there's an unnatural disaster in every single inner city. And that is uh, human error um, of no empathy, no heart. Um, and the folks that are at the crossroads uh, are kids like me when I was growing up. Um, and one day I realized that there was a tsunami of neglect in Estrada Courts. There was an earthquake every single day of uh, kids in harm's way. And I wanted to start my foundation here focused in Boyle Heights. And we started the I Am Angel Foundation in 2008. Um, thank you, General Colin Powell, for pushing me in that direction. Um, and we started with just 65 kids. 
Now with the partnership with LAUSD, we serve around 12,000 students. Our robotics program is spread across 400 schools um, in LA. But the work that we started here in Boyle Heights at the I'm Angel Foundation on First Street, across the street from the police station, where my aunt is dispatch. And our, our roots and our love for Boyle Heights runs deep. I don't have to say it in a song, my neighborhood, I do it with action. Um, because I love Boyle Heights. I love our community. It's todo Mexicanos aquí in Boyle Heights. We were the, one of the only black families here. So I, you know, we were honorary Blacksicans growing up. And it was beautiful, this cultural um, melting pot of experience and culture exchange and passion and uh, trade of ideas, um, empowerment, mentorship. This place built me. And during COVID, we realized the digital divide right in our face, where people from Mistrada Courts and Boyle Heights when they were learning from home, they couldn't learn from home because they didn't have connectivity. They had to go to McDonald's or Taco Bell or Starbucks here on um, Olympic and Soto just to get the internet. And when they have to do that, they're rival gangs at, where the kids are in harm's way. So Van Jones introduced me to Kevin and I, there's superheroes in the world that come and superheroes don't wear capes. Like we've been hearing that slogan over and over again, but that is true. They come with ideas and they bridge all types of divides. And in this case, we link, it was like the aha moment when we were brainstorming. Um, how can we outfit the projects that I'm from? Here's a real problem that we could solve. Um, and the open mind, the urgency, uh, the power of network, the network effect to reach out to, at the time, Mayor Garcetti, uh, to work with Hakla, to work with Dina Elementary. It's a combination of factors and partners to make it to where now people in Strata Courts and Boyle Heights have no cost internet fast, high-speed connectivity. Because as we get into a very more complex technological world, connectivity is everything. Education will be augmented in 2030 and forward. Artificial intelligence will get smarter. Autonomy will be around us. And kids need to be, and they are doing that at the IM Angel Foundation. They're learning robotics. They're learning computer science. They're being mentored by, you know, top companies from Boeing to NASA um, uh, to help them with their skills in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And to do that, you need connectivity. And digital literacy is in the vernacular of these young kids so they can compete. Carlos Slim is a hero for Mexicanos and for me, who's at one point in time, the richest man in the world through technology and tech. That's our Calvary with this vernacular and understanding and skill set, we could solve our own problems. And that's what we aim to do with the I Am Angel Foundation. And now with the connectivity to do that with partnership with WeLink and Hakla and LAUSD, game on, familia, por vida. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Will. Thanks for, for this, for all you do, the way you reinvest uh, into this community here in Boyle Heights is really inspirational. A key essential partner to this work, as Will mentioned, is the Los Angeles Unified School District. The broadband connection that forms the backbone that enables the connectivity here at Estrada Courts, it's based at Dina Elementary, just across the street from here. And while WeLink pays the cost for that connection, it wouldn't happen without LAUSD stepping up, seeing the potential here, and uh, creating a process by which WeLink could access the rooftop to bring that signal across the street 
here to Estrada Courts. We are so pleased to have LAUSD as a partner in this work. We're so pleased by the vision that LAUSD continues to show. And here with us, we have four-time State Superintendent of the Year, uh, Superintendent Alberto Carvalho. Thank you, Superintendent. Thank you very much. Uh, my words will be uh, very brief. Every time I listen to, uh, to Will, uh, I am clearly convinced that there are those around us that can turn impossible conditions of despair, of poverty, of immigration woes, of abuse, of homelessness, of poverty, of home insecurity, of food insecurity. They can turn that impossible into the inevitable, into the inevitability of powerful success because of what you dare to do. And the beautiful thing about today's event is proof positive of that, is that good people of goodwill with the right balance of belief, skill, and will can turn the impossible lives that many of our children face and live into the inevitability of their own personal success. This is not magic. This is not that complex. It requires determination, courage, and action, as Will said, fewer words, more action. And I am thrilled to be in a company of true partners. Certainly, we link Hakla, I am Angel Foundation. And I have to pause here for a second because this is not the first time, and no doubt the last time that Will steps up big, shows up big, and speaks up big for those who have no voice, no presence, no stature. So before, before I arrived in LA just months ago, I, I had heard uh, of Will's work and his investment of time and treasure in bringing tech education, robotics education, computer science to under-resourced areas of our community. And as soon as I arrived here, actually the very first time I met him, I told him, you know what? Uh, I'm going to match you and up you. Uh, so if, if you're doing something so great for so many, let me actually help you. Not about reinventing that which is proven to be right and good, but actually great, creating greater investment uh, to elevate the amplitude and, and possibility for more kids. So we announced right before the Classico, uh, that historic game, at the Coliseum between Garfield and Roosevelt, and I see Garfield's principal here. I told him, Will, you know what? Let's lose our minds together, and let's make that a guarantee this year of robotics education in every single middle school in Los Angeles Unified. My friend, we're gonna do that. As to why we are here today, look, I think it is evident from everything you've heard thus far. In a hyper-connected society, the digitally disconnected is initially at an educational deficit, which if not cured and addressed becomes a lifelong economic debilitating condition. It is a civil rights issue of our time to be connected. It is a human right. And we as a society, as a community, particularly here in Los Angeles, in this community where the community alone has one of the largest economies in the world, this should be a given, it should be a granted, it should be a right that is seen, observed, felt, and used by every single student and every single family. At LUSD, we already provide a guarantee of connectivity, device empowerment, and high-speed internet as of this year. But how about the community? So this next step, this evolution of connectivity to ensure that every single street, every single home, every single family is connected is an idea whose time is coming. It is the right thing at the right time for absolutely the right people. So let me thank uh, WeLink, Hakla, let me thank Microsoft, let me thank my new best friend, Will I Am, because this is the guy who tells the truth, and then does the truth. Once you know better, you have to do better. And he does it. And because uh, I did not know that this giant of truth-telling was 
in the house today in beautiful Boyle Heights, I have to give you a shout out. I mean, when Van Jones comes into town and uh, keep telling the truth, for you are a bright light in an otherwise dark universe of misinformation. Thank you very much. Let's celebrate the power of our community together. Wow, thank you so much for those powerful words, Superintendent Carvalho. You know, this is LAUSD's first week back for the spring semester. The fact that the superintendent made time to be here today speaks to how much he cares, how much LAUSD cares about making sure we really get this issue right. Now, Estrada Courts is one of 14 communities managed by the Housing Authority of the City of Los Angeles. We're here to help the residents of Hakla and the people who are working to help the residents of Hakla every single day are represented today by Chief Development Officer Jenny Scanlon. I'd like to welcome Jenny to the microphone. Jenny, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Um, on behalf of the Housing Authority, I'm really excited to welcome everyone um, and to provide uh, incredible thank you and gratitude to Wheeling, uh, to Will I Am, to the I Am Angel Foundation, and to LAUSD, incredible partners um, that are giving our residents an incredible option to receive high-speed internet at no cost. Um, seems too good to be true. Um, and I cannot wait to come back in a few weeks uh, when this is adopted by many, many of our households and to walk into those homes and see them uh, and their children on the internet able to access their homework, um, able to connect to their jobs, able to connect to their families um, inside and outside the United States. This is an incredible opportunity. This is amazing. Um, and this is a long time coming. Hakla in 2015 was one of the founding members of Connect Home, which was an early initiative to bring uh, high-speed internet to families and households in HUD-assisted housing. And I'll be honest, we didn't see the results we wanted to. Because in 2015, there was nothing compelling internet providers to build the infrastructure they needed to build in these communities. And in addition to that, our households with income being limited looked at internet as a luxury and not a necessity. And lastly, the providers that were here and were providing low cost plans were not compelled to ensure any particular level of upload or download speed for that low cost internet. So there was nothing in that early history that really led us to success. And then COVID hit. And there we stood with very little in progress to get internet to our families. And at that point, we all knew that internet wasn't a luxury, it was a necessity. Um, and we had to come up with solutions fast. And it's terrible in a way that a crisis got us to where we are, but we are incredibly grateful to our partners who realized that this dark abyss of the digital divide needed to be bridged and it needed to have real solutions. I want to thank WeLink, I want to thank Will I Am for understanding the moral imperative of this issue. Will I Am has never forgotten where he came from and has quietly and meaningfully always made sure that our Estrada residents were taken care of. He brought resources in many ways throughout many decades to his community. And this is just another example of his incredible gift and his incredible generosity and his thoughtfulness. So we've done it again. And in partnership with WeLink, we're excited, excited to pilot the technology at Estrada Courts for our 414 households, over 1,000 individuals receiving free broadband options and powering up our Boys and Girls Club. 
um, which is very exciting. I want to acknowledge the city, who has also been an incredible partner. Uh, we, as HACLA, are part of the city's Get Connected initiative, um, and they have been really pushing these efforts and helping us to build these amazing public-private partnerships to close this digital divide. There is so much more to do. This is a huge step forward, though in a direction that we need to go to set the path to real and meaningful digital equity. So thank you. And thank you on behalf of all of the residents of Estrada Courts. This is a beautiful day. Thank you, Jenny, and thank you to Hakla. You know, in her remarks just now, Jenny mentioned the role, the leadership shown by the city of Los Angeles. We're very fortunate to have the person who wakes up every single day working for the city, working in the public interest to figure out how do we get more people connected? How do we create true digital equity? And that person, someone I've gotten to know over the last few years who every day is making an impact in this community. We're fortunate to have her here with us. Uh, Dawn Comer, the Director of Technology Inclusion for the city of Los Angeles. Good morning, everyone. This, this is just so exciting. I'm really pleased to be here. So much has been said. I don't want to be repetitive, but I do just want to share that the city definitely cares about connectivity, digital inclusion, and importantly, digital literacy. As was mentioned, many residents make a choice between what to pay for, whether it's connectivity, whether it's food on the table, whether it's transportation. And when you don't have that connectivity, that means that when you're online, sometimes you're trying to figure out what to do, how to do so in a safe manner. So collectively as a city, we're looking at both the infrastructure side as well as the connectivity side. And for us, that also includes the literacy component. So we're really happy that this effort includes making sure that there's access, free access to the internet, but also the skills that are needed to make sure that residents are understanding how to get online in a safe manner, why it's imperative. We do understand that throughout the pandemic, it became very clear, schoolwork, working from home if you had that capability, also, being able to access your doctors, maybe looking for a job. All of these things are imperative for quality of life for Angelinos. And we are so excited that this partnership is helping to bring that a step further. You've heard about the collective efforts between HACLA, Microsoft, WeLink, the city of LA, LAUSD. It's a village. It really is a village. We all play a different part, and the city is very happy to be a part of this. I do wake up thinking about it every day, and I have a team who wakes up thinking about it every day as well, and I'm so grateful to be a part of that team uh, through the direction of our city council and with partnership with Bureau of Street Lighting. We're looking and excited about addi additional partnerships that allow these opportunities to happen. We want to make sure there's increased access, more providers who can provide and give con connectivity in new ways that haven't been thought of before. Will mentioned the buildings being built in the 1940s, his family being here in the 1950s. We weren't thinking about connectivity at that point. Sometimes we weren't even thinking about connectivity in 2000, but it's 2023 and it is a lifeline. We have programs, we have entrepreneurs that I know will come out of this Boys and Girls Club. We have technologists, we have doctors, we have lawyers. The future is bright and the future will be built here, starting here at Estrada Courts through this partnership and it will continue across the country. It is great that we're providing access for students Thank you to everyone who is a part of this partnership. We look forward to continued collaboration to make this happen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you for everything that you do. Uh, Mayor Garcetti and his administration focused on this issue. We're excited to partner with Mayor Bass and her administration 
to make even more progress to accelerate what's being done. On any given day, you might walk around Estrada Courts and run into Eric Gutierrez. Uh, Eric is our market lead, and he is engaging with the community here on a regular basis. So thank you, Eric, for everything you're doing day in and day out. Now today, we also have the founder of Wheelink, who is a world-renowned innovator in millimeter wave wireless connectivity. Kevin Ross developed the revolutionary technology that allows us to provide these ultra-fast blazing speeds at low or no cost at all. As CTO of New York City, I saw roughly 75 different proposals for how to connect people. In Wheelink, I think we've found the missing piece of the puzzle ultra fast and ultra affordable at the same time. No trade-offs, no compromises. That's what's enabling Los Angeles, starting here in Boyle Heights, to lead the country in solving these problems and closing the digital divide once and for all. Please join me in welcoming Wheelink founder and CEO, Kevin Ross. Thank you. Uh, first, I want to give special thanks to Will I Am and to HACLA and to LASD in the city. Uh, there's a lot of effort that went into this, and it wouldn't have been possible without them. This is a very special deployment for me personally. Like Estrada Courts residents, I also didn't come from a privileged background. My dad's from Trinidad, grew up in abject poverty. In my early years, my family also relied on government assistance just to make it day to day. Um, it was a struggle. You know, I certainly don't consider myself special or above average in any way. In fact, the only degree I have is a high school diploma. But in, the early two, uh, in my early 20s, what I did have was an internet connection. Uh, back in the early 2000s, when the first versions of broadband were being deployed, and by, by the way, back then, fast was three megabits, which is 500 times slower than the speeds we offer today. Uh, but I immediately knew that it was the future. And I started to get really excited about what the internet could do if it was gigabit, uh, which is a thousand times faster than megabit. I wondered what would be possible if gigabit was pervasive, if it was wireless, and if it was available to everyone. Uh, I kid you not, my journey of the last 20 years started with a simple Google search, gigabit wireless. I literally spent thousands of hours on the internet reading voraciously about wireless technologies. Because of the internet, I was not only able to educate myself on the state of the art in the wireless, but was able to connect with a number of graduate students and professors at USC, Caltech, Berkeley, who had made the amazing scientific and technological breakthroughs that ultimately led to the unique and patented technology we've developed at Wheelink. Literally, all I had was an internet connection, a passion to learn, and a lot of persistence to stick with it for what has now been 20 years of my life. While I still don't have a college degree, I do now have over 20 issued patents, and I've been... Thank you. And I've been lucky enough to see my vision come to reality in the form of the technology platform that we built at WeLink, which is what's enabling the gigabit service that we are providing to the residents of Strata Courts, all because I had access to the internet. The internet can literally change lives. Obviously, it's changed mine. It can lift people up, it can give them opportunity, more than they can even imagine. I'm absolutely thrilled that the residents of Estrada Courts now have faster internet than most Americans have the option of buying. And here at Estrada Courts, it's at no charge to them. I'm so honored that WeLink is able to be part of such an amazing project. Uh, I hope as a community, we prioritize these types of deployments in underprivileged neighborhoods. Internet is no longer optional. Everyone deserves access to the opportunity the internet can provide. Again, thank you for partnering with WeLink and uh, helping to make the internet more equitable. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you uh, to Superintendent Carvalho. Thank you to Jenny from Hakla. Thank you to Don from the city of Los Angeles. Uh, and obviously thank you to Will and the I Am Angel Foundation with Wheeling's groundbreaking technology and the I Am Angel Foundation's commitment to investing in this community, we have the building blocks for generational empowerment. One of the ways we're doing that is by partnering with Microsoft. From digital basics to high-level skills that lead to jobs to access to affordable devices, 
Microsoft is helping make this a truly holistic approach to how we close the digital divide. So thank you to our friends from Microsoft. <laughs> Ultimately, this effort's about people. It's about the people you've heard from who are helping to make it happen. Yeah. But even more so, it's about the people who are benefiting from newfound connectivity and the skills to use it. We have with us today Cecilia, an Estrada Quartz resident who said eloquently, now technology is not a luxury. You have to have it. About WeLink's internet service, which she recently got, Cecilia said, it's way faster. It's a blessing for us, for our kids to not fall behind. Thank you, Cecilia. We also have Maria here with us, who told us about how her whole big family can have 20 plus devices connected at the same time using WeLink Internet, and everything works. No slowdowns, no throttling. She even recently was able to have her little granddaughter see the doctor online using WeLink Internet to get her teeth checked through a virtual checkup. That's the everyday impact that having internet has on families. Thank you, Maria, for sharing that with us. Every day, hundreds of Estrada Quartz residents are already using WeLink's ultra-fast internet. These are the early adopters. And after school, the Boys and Girls Club, the building that we're in right now, it transforms into a go-to spot for students to have a place where they can do their homework using WeLink internet, and then to come connect and play. We have Stephanie from the Boys and Girls Club here with us today. Thank you, Stephanie, for supporting this great work and supporting the children here at Estrada Quartz. And they're hosting dozens of kids every single day, sometimes up to 100 at a time. And they can all get connected. They're all able to do their homework, to learn, to play, to be kids just as much as their peers a few miles away in the neighborhoods where cost isn't a barrier. As you've heard before, we recognize that future-ready broadband is a fundamental human right. It's essential. And now it's here at Estrada Courts. It's a model for communities everywhere. Thank you for being with us this morning. Please join me in recognizing everyone who has worked to make a better internet possible. Uh, please join me in welcoming the members of the community who are here with us today. Thank you for being here for this conversation. Thank you for being those early adopters. Uh, and thank you for telling the story about what internet means to you. Um, thank you. Please join me in a round of applause for everybody who has done so much to make this possible. I'm going to give the last word uh, to Will. You want to come on up? You know, I was just thinking, um, if you're a musician, if you're an athlete, any type of impactor of culture that comes from the inner city, there's a lot of us that are from some project in America. How do we duplicate this? How do we get Kendrick Lamar from Jordan Downs? Um, how do we get Nas from his project and Jay-Z from his project. Because when we link with WeLink, we bridge that digital divide. This is a path and a, and a recipe for how you, if you come from some project, and we know the folks that come from a project that have awesome memories and love for the community they, they come from, this is a recipe to bring everybody into the new world with connectivity because connectivity is a human right. So. That would, that's my, my last, there's a, there's a housing authority across America, there's schools, across, there's superintendents across America, and there's folks from a project that they represent, and we can really transform that. Thanks. Thank you.